Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. Before we start, I'm just excited. <laughs> no, it's funny. Because, uh, you know, it's like, I do my reads, right? And I don't have my light set up. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, what's going on? What's going on? Because, you know, my assistant was 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 uh, reading the comments. And then, you know, so I get my feedbacks every morning. I was like, they just give me the, the juice, you know. It's like the reports on, on what's going on there. So just, you know, if, if there's something that I need to be concerned. Okay, of course, I'm always concerned about how people see it in the screen because it's a screen, okay? That's, you know, that's there are key points that we discuss, basically. So the key points, okay, it's like, is, is the audio good? You know, da 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 It's the quality, of course. It's, it, you, you know, for people to see the the read, okay? So the, the you know, we're gonna have a little bit of chit-chat. You can time, time stamp this, okay? I'll talk fast, Corpse. But it's just funny because it's like, um, everybody was saying, oh my gosh, like he's, he's, it's so dark. It's so dark, something is wrong with Sal. And it was so funny <laughs> because literally, it's called a light setup, okay? Sometimes we don't need to go esoteric on things. There are things that are really mundane and sometimes it's called light setup. So I move here now. I mean, with Libra, I put the, the yellow light on, you know, because I don't have my whole light setup. But sometimes people just need to let go of the esoteric, like, as a Scorpio, like us, it's like people think probably like the things that we do, but in reality, what do we do? Mm -hmm. There are things that, are, that is not seen. Okay, don't worry about what you can see. Worry about what you can't see. <laughs> it's just funny. It was just hilarious because it's just like, like how people would see you, okay, here, you know, with just one, with having not, you know, not a good light set up. And then they already think of something else. And I, I feel like those people would probably should improve the way, you know, but maybe feel energy. It's not what you see. What you see is already too late. When you see something, it's already too late. So don't even worry about what's, you know, what's in front of you. You know, the vibration is what you have to feel. <laughs> oh, I, mm. It was just funny. I just find it funny. Okay, I just, I just wanted to have a chit chat because it's like, so now for Scorpio, it's what I did. It's like, I turned the lights off, you know, it's like, okay, let's see now. It's like the whole dark and mysticism is here. Really? The dark is not in the dark. No. <laughs> if there's anything that you should, that people should know, the dark would be in the light. <laughs> because oh, they're, oh, they're going to be figured out. It's like, oh my God. It's like people. Okay, anyhow, Scorpio, let's go. Let's go. I just want to have a chit chat with you. Good morning, Scorpio. Good morning, world. And good morning, America. This is your seven day prediction. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm not an astrologer, not Western, not Vedic, but I follow Vedic. Um, I do see the charts though, recently. Uh -huh. So I do, I do see the charts um, of your, of whoever you're connecting with. So that's how I work Okay, for this uh, for this particular time. I know, I'm seeing the charts. Okay, charts, okay. But let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay, let's do the mystics. Oh my golly, please. There's anything, it's just like this. <laughs> okay, here we go, Scorps. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. What's going on, Scorps? Do share. Okay, let's see. What you guys got? Here we go. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. The Queen of Wands, I knew it's gonna be a Leo. Why is everybody with a I know, you know, whatever. Okay, so this is a Queen of Wands, that's a Leo card, can be an Aries also, can can be a um a Sag. Let me see, is this you? Okay, so I feel here someone is either being tempted, okay, or tempting, or being seduced, of course, this is a seductress. Um this is someone who practices the arts also. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, there's someone here who who's not gonna do anything, but they they will be able to do it. It's almost like your action is not even what you do now is not it's not even gonna change anything. You know, it's it's not like it's too late or anything like that. In the course of action, with the connection that you have with this person, okay. See, it's like is this mystic? It's called a pencil. Okay, it's called a pencil. <laughs> okay. So the Queen of Wands here. Okay. Um. Like, you don't even have to do anything right now. Or they don't have to do anything right now. It's just like a moment of standstill. There's um, there's this silent um, chemistry between the two of you that it can cut through the night. Okay? So that's how much intense, um, not not connection. It's more of a sexual connection, intimate connection with this person. It's just like, if you guys were left in the room, oh, dear Lord, you know, it's like, I hope I'm not a reader because I would see everything. Ah, I see. Look at the most phallic one. Ace of Wands. Mm. If, 
I told you the tension, the fire, the friction between the two of you. Okay. Ooh, Sal is holding it like this. Seriously, guys, it's it's called so that the camera can focus. Okay. People need to get out of their mystic side. Seriously, take a chill pill. <laughs> That's that between the two of you. Like, you guys are probably not not near each other, and this tension builds build keeps building up. You guys can be far from each other. It keeps the the passion bay, you know? If you guys were ever intimate with this person, you know what I'm talking about. You know. Mind-blowing. Okay, now, for the people who, of course, who practice celibacy and da-da-da, still the same because this is the, that connection, you know? It's like you feel the vibe. You feel the vibe of person. You don't have to be intimate with the person. You know where when they're a hotness and you know when they're a hot mess. Okay, that's their vibration already. This one is a hotness. Can be a fire sign and as ace to the ace to the queen over here, that energy is what's going. Remember for me, ace to the king is you know three, uh, the whole turn around. But here's what's going. Underneath the queen of wands, woo! Optimism card, ten of cups. Uh, has it ever happened to you? Because I don't think so. Okay. This is what the other person probably is thinking also. It's like, ooh, like if I'm with this person, I probably feel like extremely happy because I feel that they're going to make me happy and I feel that I can make them happy. This is the I feel card. It's not happening yet. You need another combination for this to materialize, okay? I feel you, you feel me. I like you, you like me. But something needs to move to push it, okay? So chemistry is good. Um, feelings is there. I like you. You like me. Compatibility is amazing. That's a ten of cups. And you, you know, if you uh, probably you have family also, or you're visiting family at the same time with ten of cups, underneath the ace of ones here. Ooh, ace to the king. Ace to the king. As I called you, Aries energy. So, what's going and what's happening between the two of you here? This can be, you know, like we've done the other read. It was the, you know, like someone that you, um, I believe they have their, um, they have their D9, their Destiny chart, Navamsha, in their Iris. So this can still be continuation. I haven't seen the chart, but this can be a continuation of that. Okay, so just letting you guys know. A lot of fire energy here. Okay, you just have to Google that because I'm not an astrologer. I won't be able to educate you. Okay, and it happens fast. Both of you now are vibrating or having this frequency between each other as this. It's developing. Something is developing between the two of you, the feminine and the masculine energy over here, okay, under the Ten of Cups, and that's what's developing, Page of Cups. There can be a message now. This is where it's going to go. This is where it's moving. The other person now will send you a message. Whatever that is, though, it's not significant. Pages are not going to make an entrance. They just make the, their presence felt, okay? So this is the whole, hi, there. That's how you feel this person. They will have that little input in your life, and that's them already. Underneath the king of wands, six of swords. So it goes onto the abyss. You don't know where it's leading. You don't know where it's going, but it's moving. Six of swords, for me, it's never progressive. It goes to where it doesn't know where it's going, but it's going, Okay. So movement, yes. Direction, no. Okay. Let me see underneath the page of cups. Six of pentacles, same thing. Six is I'm not. I'm. Not, I, it doesn't favor me. It doesn't really go anywhere. All right, giving and receiving. So what? Everybody gives and receiving. You know, your sibling, your parents. You know, you need the push. Okay. There's the push of six of swords. Stable, yes. But where? Where is the stable energy? Six of Pentacles. You text them, they reply back. This is, you know, it's like I reply to you, you reply to me. It's there. What's good is like it's there. Okay? But moving forward, you need a lot of energy. Okay? Two of Swords. So where is it going? So this is my B card. I like my twos. Okay? Because for me, you know, it's like letting things be. Do not disturb me. I want to have a clarity before I make the decision to move forward over here. So between you and this person, okay, Undeniable chemistry, undeniable feelings for each other. Now, the other person is slowly making that input in the connection while the other person is considering it. They they know. This other person knows. Okay? So Scorpio, I'm gonna continue this reading because this is like it's it's like it's just not starting all over again. There's a big movement between the two of you because Ace of the King, there's something you won't see as a tool turnaround with the things that is going on right now. 
Okay? So thank you very much, Scorpio, for watching. I'll marry the spread in the four points. Have a wonderful, wonderful uh, second week of July. Ooh, the mystics out. Really? Okay, it's called having coffee in the morning. Okay, it's not herbs. <laughs> Bye, guys.